What's up, everybody? Vlogs. Episode one. What? what? Yeah, folks. Um, I'm gonna try something a little new here. Um, I know y'all probably getting old, tired of the farming simulator videos, so I'm gonna try to throw in something different every now and then just to spice things up. Figure I'll show off the truck today. I'm just gonna do a voiceover throughout the video here. Yeah, I might add some music here at the end or something. It's only a 10 minute video, as you may see. But uh, check out my motor now. Battery needs to clean. But hey, it gets me A to B, sometimes to C. It's a 5.3 liter. Um. Yeah. So how y'all been doing today? Y'all doing all right? Oh really? That's good to hear. That's good to hear. If you're watching this, it's probably Thursday, and I'm got this to publish ahead of time. That would be the 14th, December the 14th, Thursday, when y'all watch this. Hopefully, if I get up in time. Check out my oil. I know I need to get my oil changed because it's way past due. And this is kind of antifreeze that goes into my vehicle here. Which is my leak has slowed down a lot. I used to have a freeze plug leaking. Uh, my cousin put four in because I made a stupid mistake. $15 mistake cost me almost $300. That's right. 5W30 is motor oil I use. And my phone's charged. Yay. But I would have to pick the windiest day to do this. So that's why I'm doing the voiceover. I muted the rest of this because it was rough on the ears. I couldn't stand for y'all to stand that because I can't stand it. But it's... One o'clock in the morning, Thursday, 14th. The kids are asleep in the other room, so that's why I'm trying to be quiet. Check out my radio mic right there. Oh, I forgot. I, I muted this in. I was going to say, listen to this baby start up. But I got to get some gas in her. Look at that. A long gas. And you're going to see a bunch of lights on here, but check out the brake light right there. Yeah, come on, autofocus. I'm having trouble with my Sony camera here lately. It's autofocus is slow, and it's been uh, not accepting my memory cards here lately. I have to insert three, four times before it would recognize it. But the ABS light and the brake light is on because my driver front bearing's going out. Yeah, check out all that stuff there. It's so cluttered. I got my coat and stuff. But look at the uh, computer mount that my fire chief, Antoine White, gave me. Uh, we got a new truck and it had it in it. And they didn't want it. I said, well, can I have it? And they like, sure. But a great friend gave this to me. Never drive faster than your guardian angel can fly. I'm not going to mention no names just in case. Uh, she don't want no shout out or anything. I haven't talked to her yet, but yeah, friend gave it to me and I had it for quite a while. I think I was 28 when I got that and I'm 40 now. Fix and be 41. Check out my fire lights there, folks. That now I quit working on the white. I had those for a while since... 2007 I believe and the strobes I think I got in 2008 had them for a while and they're still working pretty good you see right there how that one was red and white how the other side supposed to be and then I want to show you my strobes right there got in the reverse light their strobes I drilled right beside of them put the bulbs in didn't show you that side because the, the white one's out on that side. Look at all this mess here, folks. That's all the stuff 
probably got more. I cleaned it now and took a lot of stuff out. There's my chain. Got some, two jugs of water right there just in case. My cones to block the road off. My boots. Those are my lights that I have in my back glass. Got some stop signs for traffic control. And there's all kinds of stuff in there. Bolt cutters, axe, pry bars. Got some shovels. You can see the handle on the other side. Booster cables. And I still don't think I got enough. I think I need to put the kitchen sink in there. You know, first responder got to have everything in there. Yep, got to make sure it's good and shut. But I got uh, two pairs of red and white there. And right there is my solar panel. And as you can see, it clear cocking over. It was where I used to have my Go Gobi. I think it's Gobi spotlight. I need to put that back up there. And here, folks, look how windy it is out there. This is across the levee at Luxor, what they call the boat ramp. And that, that's just the wind blowing. It, it's like, I don't know. It, they say it's supposed to get up to 30 miles an hour, but I believe at times it's worse than that. But yeah, I still do some of the first responder calls and... I, I don't do too many of them, just the the ones that's severe. I don't, I, I don't like, how you know they're severe? Well, we got a few that, you know, they constantly call every day, and they're just extremely intoxicated. Those I don't go to. I let the other guys handle that. But anyway, look at that dead grass, folks. I, I, we're on a burn band and I can't uh, express that enough as you know not to burn when we're on a burn band but we had one across the labor there there's no way we can handle it. It, it not with that wind right there look at that, that is, ooh. I missed my boat I sold my boat to get me a drone in case some of y'all don't know that and I'm going to try to have some drone shots coming up. I know I've, I've done got a few up. And I got a few that's recorded that I ain't edited yet. So yeah. But anyway. Um, here I'm going to take you along right here. Y'all going to see some water on the road. But it's just standing water. It's done actually. The ground, ground has done dried out. And the grass is back dead again you know it never did get a chance to you see some green there but you go on up here all the levee is dead and everybody's yards is dead grass and it's just a, a nightmare for firefighters but anyway i, I hope y'all enjoyed this that, that used to be a restroom there folks men and women's restroom men on one side of course, you know, women on the other side. But it used to be like a park area across there, but it, that's back in the day. Luxor used to be actually across that chute there. Uh, but I, I, I don't know all the history of it and stuff, so I ain't going to say it. But somehow or another, it got moved across the levee. And uh, yeah, I need to do some research on that. But uh Anyway, this is my truck all, well, not cleaned out, but it's all the junks out of it and in the place it needs to be. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself cleaning the truck out back here. I just got to vacuum it out and get some armor on and stuff. But look at this mount I made. Uh, I unbolted the seat boat right there. You know, welded that bracket and mounted it back. And this is for helping... Uh, fire chief out on some of his reports and stuff when he's not around yeah and it does look a little cluttered but it's it's better than what it was folks i love my truck it's full of everything except for the kitchen sink but i might put that in there who knows but anyway thank you all for all your support and everything that y'all have gave me thank you for the 400 plus subs and folks i love each and every one of y'all but as you can see, I got to go. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day, 
and I will see you later. Bye.